The average height of an NBA player is currently six foot six. So today I have made every single player in the NBA six foot six. To start off, I took the 30 best players and put them in a 1v1 tourney. And later we're gonna be doing a season sim as well. You can see the original 30 best players on the left here and the new 30 best players when everybody's the same height on the right. The top two players are now Luka and KD, both being 97 overalls. So they will get a buy from the first round of the tournament. Starting off in the first round, we had Kyrie Irving versus Jalen Brunson. It was Kyrie who had the lead for most of the game, going up 16 to 8. But then he never scored again. Brunson went on a crazy scoring run, winning 22 16. Next was Steph Curry versus Trey Young. Despite Curry being a lot higher of an overall, Trey Young kept it close all game and even had an 18 13 lead. After bricking a three for the win, Curry shot perfect the rest of the game, ending on two threes, winning 21 18. After them was Jokic facing DeMar DeRozan. Despite Jokic being a lot smaller than usual, he was still just as dominant. This game wasn't close at all. Jokic won 22 4. Next up is SGA versus Zion, and we had a close matchup again here. Zion was able to take a 16 10 lead, but SGA made the comeback, tying it up. Zion came back with a bucket of his own, followed by an SGA 3 and deep 2 to win 21-18. Next, Donovan Mitchell faces Damian Lillard. Lillard dominated early on, taking an 18-5 lead. But from here, it was all Donovan Mitchell, making the impossible comeback, tying it up at 18, and then hitting a 3 to win 21-18. After that, we had Devin Booker facing Jamal Murray. Things started off really close this game, with each player going back and forth scoring. Devin Booker had a 12-11 lead, but from here, it was all Jamal Murray. He didn't let Booker get the ball back for the rest of the game and won 21-12. Next up is John Morant versus Jalen Brown. Again, this game started off close, being tied up at 8 until John Morant took over the game and ultimately won 22-8. Next, we got Anthony Davis versus Tyrese Halliburton. This game was never close at all. AD held the lead the entire time and won 22-11. Next, we have Jason Tatum versus LaMelo Ball. Another game that wasn't close at all. Tatum won 22-4. Two teammates facing off next with MVP. Embiid facing off against Tyrese Maxey. Unfortunately for Maxey, despite Embiid shrinking a ton, Embiid won easily 22-8. After them was Giannis versus Jalen Williams. I thought J-Dub was going to do well in this game, but he got blown out. Giannis won 22-6. Next up is Jimmy Butler versus Anthony Edwards, the two sons of Michael Jordan. It was back and forth to start, and Ant had a 10-8 lead. From here, Ant took over the game and won 21-12. The second last match was between LeBron James and De'Aaron Fox. LeBron took an early lead, but Fox was able to make a comeback, cutting the lead down to two points, with LeBron being up 16-14. But after that, Fox couldn't score again, and LeBron won 22-16. And the last match of the first round was two teammates again facing off. This time, it was Kawhi Leonard versus Paul George. Again, the thing started off close this game with the players going back and forth, till Kawhi took over the game and won 22-13. Moving on to round two, with only 16 players remaining, up first was one seed Luka Doncic versus Jalen Brunson. Luka dominated this entire game, he was up the entire time, and while Brunson did score a decent amount of points, Luka ended up winning 22-12. Next up was Curry versus Jokic. Curry started the game hot, going up 12-0, and then Jokic made a bit of a comeback, getting up to 6 points, before Curry got the ball again and never gave it back, winning 22-6. Next, we have SGA versus Donovan Mitchell. This game was really close to start. Both players went back and forth scoring, till SGA had an 8-7 lead. From here, Donovan Mitchell took over the game, going up 17-8, and then SGA managed to score a few more times, but it was too late for the comeback. Donovan Mitchell won 20 22-12. After them was Jamal Murray versus John Morant, and John Morant led this entire game. Jamal managed to put up a few points near the end, but Ja ended up winning 22-12. Two seed Kevin Durant faced Anthony Davis next. This was the closest game of the round so far. They just went back and forth the whole time, and KD was up 19-18. AD then got inside for a massive poster to take a one-point lead, and ended it with a tough layup to win 22-19. Next is Jason Tatum versus Joel Embiid. I thought Tatum was going to go pretty far in this tournament, but he was no match for Embiid. Despite Tatum taking a 10-6 lead to start, Embiid ended up winning 22-13. The second last 
match of the second round is Giannis versus Anthony Edwards, and this was a complete blowout. Anthony Edwards stood no chance. Giannis won 22-5. And moving into the last matchup of round two, we got Kawhi Leonard versus LeBron James. Another game that started off really close with LeBron being up 10-9. From here, Kawhi dominated the rest of the game, winning 22-12. We're down to our final eight players now, and our first matchup is Steph Curry versus Luka. Steph at 95, Luka 97. At the beginning of the tournament, I thought Curry would win it all, gaining four inches. I just thought he would be unstoppable. But that wasn't the case because Luka stopped him easily this game. Luka was just lights out, hitting some crazy shots, and ultimately he won 22 11. And our next matchup is 93 overall Donovan Mitchell versus 94 overall Ja Morant. This ended up being one of the closest games of the tournament. Early on, it was Ja that took a big lead, going up 15 4. But Donovan Mitchell made the comeback, and with the game on the line, he cut the lead down to only one point. He can win it on a three pointer here not gonna do a three gonna get a layup instead and donovan mitchell with the lead now he's now on game point you do have to win by two uh, but he will win it if he scores right here and he gets fouled by john moran he's going to the free throw line to win the game hits the shot and donovan mitchell wins it on free throws. Our next match is 93 overall Anthony Davis versus 94 overall Joel Embiid. This game was the most boring of the video to watch. Despite everyone being six foot six now, centers still play like centers, which is just not fun in 1v1s. Anthony Davis led the whole game though and won 21-14. Heading to the final matchup of this round, we got 94 overall Kawhi Leonard versus 97 overall Giannis Antetokounmpo. This was complete dominance by Giannis, which I didn't expect. I thought he would have taken a bigger hit to his skill. Now only being six foot six, but he still beat Kawhi easily 22 7. So, into our final four players now. First up, we got Donovan Mitchell versus Luka Doncic. These are two guys you normally would not see make it this far in these tournaments because they always lose to taller players. But let's see what happens here. Donovan Mitchell from three can't hit the three pointer. Good shot attempt. Luka from three now, and Luka can't hit the three either. I mean, just bricking threes to start. Now Donovan Mitchell from three, and finally someone hits a shot. I mean, Donovan Mitchell gaining a bunch of height here. He's gotten so much better. Spinning inside. There's an easy layup for him. Okay, interesting. Not sure what he's doing. There we go. He's got to put up a three-pointer, and he drains another three. Oh, two seconds left. Has to put up the shot, and he hits it. It was only a two. I think his foot was on the line there. But a 10-0 lead for Donovan Mitchell. He's not missing anything right now. Driving again, and then he misses right there. Let's see if he can finally put some points on the board. He's in the post right now. Fading, and there we go. Luka finally getting some points. Gotta put up the shot. And he misses, and Luka with the poster. What just happened? Luka in the post again. Fading, nice little left-handed shot. And Luka is bringing this thing back only down by two now. I mean, just going right back to the post. It's been working for him right now. And there we go. Luka ties it up at 14. Gonna get right around Luka here. Actually, no, that was good. D and one for Donovan Mitchell. He's going to the free throw line now. And hits the free throw up to 19. Game point for Donovan Mitchell right here. Gets inside. The layup is good. Donovan Mitchell is moving on to the finals. A massive upset for him right there. And heading over to our other matchup, we got Anthony Davis facing Giannis Antetokounmpo. This game ended up being crazy. It had to be the most misses and most blocks out of any game so far this tournament. But it did stay close throughout with Giannis having a 19-16 lead near the end. Let's see if Giannis can end it here. Gets around AD for the layup. That's no good. Gets his rebound. Pump fake. Puts up the shot. It's no good. All right, Anthony Davis getting in the post now. Puts up the shot. There we go. He hits a layup. Cuts the lead down to one. I really hope it doesn't go. He scores and then it goes back and forth because he got to win by two. Anthony Davis inside. Hits another layup. AD at game point now. Let's see if he can end it. Giannis wasn't able to. Back in the post for AD. That's a tough shot. And the layup's no good. All right, so Giannis with another opportunity. He can't win it right here because you do have to win by two. Uh, so he'll, have to, he'll actually have to score twice if he does score here. Good defense by AD. AD with the block gets the ball and the layup to beat Giannis and move on to the finals. I mean, this game was terrible. Giannis shot 9 for 41. He had 11 blocks. And AD shot 11 for 40 also with 11 blocks. So here we are in the finals, Anthony Davis versus Donovan Mitchell. Now this looks very odd with them being the same height. Donovan Mitchell looks huge, uh, just <laughs> compared to seeing him normally. Getting inside here, that's a tough shot, misses it. 
but he does get fouled. And this is Donovan Mitchell's first home court advantage in this tournament, and it's in the finals. I mean, he's the 13 seed, AD's the 15 seed. So, I mean, they're really close to each other. I believe they're both 93 overalls. So Donovan Mitchell was just uh slightly higher 93 so that's why he gets home court but uh this is a matchup i never thought i would see in these 1v1 tournaments and definitely not who i thought would get to the finals of this tournament in the first place donovan mitchell pump fake not a three-pointer but he hits the deep two that was a nice pump fake right there had ad jumping on mitchell inside tough layup and he is up six oh i do think the guards are way better it's just kind of like the bottom half of the tournament was all big men and the top half was all guards but i think a lot of the guards would have done really good against the the big men or the traditional big men now they're all the same height let's see if ad can put some points up on the board and he can't he cannot put any points up yet ad got his takeover badge he hasn't even scored yet donovan mitchell with the ankle breaker and he misses the shot why not take the wide open layup or dunk donovan mitchell with the ball again i don't know how he got the ball this time inside and another layup for Donovan Mitchell. It is 9-0. I mean, so far, he's just blowing AD out. Is he to get 21-0 in the finals? Let's find out. And there's another. No, he misses that layup. Can't hit them all. All right, AD. Binning. Puts up the shot. And finally, Anthony Davis putting up some points. I mean, kind of bullying Donovan Mitchell in the post. I guess he still has a strength. AD getting right around Donovan Mitchell. Okay. Anthony Davis with the one-point lead. I mean, he's starting to take over this game in the post. Good defense by Donovan Mitchell. And AD still hits the shot. Mitchell is playing great defense, but uh, AD is just hitting everything. And there we go. He finally misses. And it's out of bounds. Anthony Davis kind of just shoved him out of bounds. Not sure if that's even allowed, but I guess it is. Because Anthony Davis is back in the post. Puts up the shot and he hits it. AD is taking over right now. Gets around Donovan Mitchell for the dunk. I don't know. Maybe Anthony Davis got a lot quicker now that he's only six foot six. And he misses that shot. Donovan Mitchell with the board. He's got a seven point comeback in front of him. Let's see if he can do it. And he gets blocked by Anthony Davis. AD with the ball. And AD with the bucket as well. Are the big men still going to be the winners of this tournament when everybody's the same height? Anthony Davis fades and he hits the shot. 20 to 9 lead. AD on game point to win the tournament. Puts up the shot. No good. Gets his own rebound. Puts it up again. And he gets it to go. Anthony Davis is the winner of our 1v1 tournament. But who would be the best players and teams in a season simulation? Let's find that out now. Hopping into the season, things were crazy in the East. The Knicks and Cavs were at the top of the conference, and somehow the Hawks managed to get the three seed. The Pistons were also way better than normal, getting the six seed. But the craziest thing was probably the Celtics getting the 11 seed and missing out on the playoffs. In the West, things were a lot more normal. Clippers had the one seed, followed by the Nuggets and Mavs. But things were a lot closer than in real life there was only 23 wins between the one seed and the 15 seed pretty much the whole conference had a good chance at making the playoffs Luka Doncic won MVP Wemby won rookie of the year Westbrook six man and Giannis defensive player of the year which is all pretty normal but the playoffs were not the Hawks ended up coming out of the east and the Nuggets out of the west the Nuggets I mean, it makes sense that they should be here, but the Hawks in real life are nowhere close to making the NBA Finals. But here we are. Let's see who wins. Game one goes to the Hawks. And then the Nuggets tie it up at one. Hawks take a 2-1 lead. Nuggets tie it up again. And the Nuggets take a 3-2 lead. Let's hop into SimCast for this. And hopping into the end of the game here, this game was a complete blowout by the Denver Nuggets. Uh, didn't have to go to a game seven all. Michael Porter Jr. from three. All right, there they are holding up the trophy. Everybody the exact same height here it's so weird seeing Jokic that short and of course Jokic gets finals MVP well, that's gonna be it for this video guys if you enjoyed it make sure to subscribe to the channel check out this video right here and I'll see you guys next time peace